Do you take the time to celebrate success in your business? Now, I know this might seem like a, a quirky little question, but actually, I think it's way more important than we often realise. Now, it's a typical British thing, isn't it? We're not really brought up to, uh, we're told not to show off. Uh, we're told that pride comes before a fall. We're told not to have ideas above our station, all that kind of stuff. We're also taught to have a really good, strong work ethic. And you know, you get great things like you're not here to enjoy yourself, you know. Um, so there was, we're almost um, inbred with this message that you're supposed to work very hard, not hugely enjoy it, and definitely not particularly stop and celebrate. But you know what? I think one of the best things about being in business for yourself is that you're entitled to throw all those rules, so-called rules, out of the window. And it's your business. You can do it your way. But added to that is also the fact that pausing to celebrate your successes is actually one of the most powerful things you can do to help you build momentum to keep growing your business. Um, when you stop and actually realise quite how far you've come, that is one of the best things that you can do for your own motivation and that motivation then turns into momentum for your business. Plus the fact that you actually pause and see the things that you've achieved or how far you've come that you've forgotten about because we so easily do that. Normally you've got another 8,000 things on your to-do list and those are the big focus. What's the point in celebrating those three things I did last week when there's 18,000 more things I really want to do? But that's just going to actually keep you stuck. So here's a couple of really little things that you could do that can help you capture the, um, the essence of success to enjoy taking pride in what you've done, but to do that in such a positive way that it really helps you focus on your business and get clarity and momentum for the journey forwards as well. So if you were to just ask yourself at the end of each day, what's the best thing that I have achieved today? What was the best thing about today? And even if you had a really crappy day, there's always something good in there somewhere. But very often there's just that little light bulb of something quite small and what might seem trivial for the day, but actually you can recognise it as a bit of a milestone when you pause and give it the credit that it deserves. So ask yourself each day and ask yourself each week, what was the best thing about this day or this week? And you'll be amazed at, at what brilliant things that you've achieved that you're just sweeping straight past. And then I would also recommend once a month, something like that, ask yourself, what is it you've done in the last month that you're proud of? And I think we're often given this message that pride is... Um, an unattractive, vain quality and not something we should aspire to. But do you know, I think when you do fantastic things in your business, you deserve to be proud of them. So ask yourself every so often, what have I done that I'm proud of? And you can really find that you recharge the batteries and give yourself so much more motivation to really push things forward. And if you need a little added inspiration, when you're asking those questions, also ask yourself, what have I learned? What have I learned today? What have I learned this week? What have I learned about myself or my business in the last month? And those tiny lessons can be the things that really make the difference to the, the little tweaks, the little pivots in your business that actually help you to really harness what's going well, and do much more of the good stuff so that you can achieve lots and lots more as you go forwards. So with a bit of luck, I might have given you a tiny bit of inspiration today to be a little more proud of what you achieve and actually take the time to pause, realise how far you've come and to celebrate those successes because you deserve to do that and it's going to help you grow your business. How's that for a win-win?